Hi folks, uh, we have a case that came in a while back. It's a HTC M8. It was beyond repair, it was water damage. Um, we tried repairing it. Uh, we looked at the board, there was a, a lot of bad spots. There was a pretty bad spot over here and a few other places and some ICs were actually uh, corroded underneath. So it was cheaper to simply pull the um, EMMC off, which is this memory chip right here clean it up, put it in the, uh, in the holder and then read it directly and then take it over to UFED and decode the data. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna image this memory chip and we're gonna import the binary file into UFED and take it from there. Here we can see on the microscope pictures there was extensive damage. Uh, we tried cleaning all this, it, it was very difficult. Um, it probably wouldn't make sense to clean all this when we can simply pull the chip off and then uh, recover the data. The, the last picture coming up now, uh, this is after cleaning. It still looks pretty bad. So what is eMMC memory? eMMC is an embedded memory chip that is made together with the controller already in the chip. Uh, unlike a traditional you know, memory chip in a thumb drive, where the memory chip is separate from the controller. Um, what is good about EMMC is that you can simply insert it into an EMMC reader and be able to view the data given that you have the right software. Once the chip is in the uh, adapter, we're going to plug it into this Cellbrite card reader, which is just a standard card reader. And uh, we're going to move over to a Linux machine where we can take a full binary image of the memory chip. We could use the SD card reader directly in UFED and acquire the data that way, but I prefer to take the binary image first, as in some cases we need to hash the image. So here we have the chip inserted into the reader. Uh, what's important is to, um, to match the orientation of the chip. So there's a dot here and a dot here, and they have to be matched, otherwise the chip will not read. So let's go over to the Linux station. So now here in the Linux station, uh, we're just gonna plug it in and check for the size and uh, check for all the partitions and then make sure they show up. And there it is, slash dev slash SDC. So we're gonna initiate the rescue and we're gonna start imaging. Now there's many ways of doing this. You don't have to use DDRescue, you can use DD, you can use DCFLDD or any other hashing tool out there. Um, but this is the way I'm going to do it today, since this is not a forensic case. So imaging is now completed. It took about 30 to 40 minutes um, to image the entire chip. It's about 32 gigs. Uh, so now that we have the image, we can go over to our UFED station and then this is where we can continue on. Okay, and here we are in our UFED machine. So we're going to open a new project, an advanced project, uh, it's a blank project. And then we're going to select the phone we're working on. So we know the model number, so we're just going to put it in here. And it's the HTC M8. There it is. Okay, next. And it's a physical because this isn't a, a complete chip off uh, binary. So we're going to, uh, we have a few options. We can do a um, file system or we can put a folder if we have the file system ready to go. But this is on a complete image. So uh, we're going to select the image we created earlier and click finish and uh, let it start analyzing and going through the data and uh, finding everything that's on this chip including deleted messages chats um, so it's just gonna be a few seconds to load here since this is sped up this took about i think an hour and 40 minutes because it's going over over a network uh, anyways here it's finished uh, so just like in a previous video same idea everything is listed on the left and on the right, you can see everything that's in red that was deleted but recovered. And from this point on, we can start analyzing the data. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This um, this is just a simple chip off uh, with a forensic component at the end using UFED Physical Analyzer. Uh, we're gonna have more videos coming up soon.